Are you ever craving a really good sandwich, like a really good pastrami sandwich? Well, we found this place that's serving up one of the best in the entire state. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having us. I'm super. I think I um, kind of fit in with like the color. The green. Thing. I know the yeah. vibe. The vibe is working for you. I think yes. so. Yeah. Okay. So I've heard a lot of really cool things about this place. Cool. So I'm excited to try everything that you've got to offer me. There will be some stuff you probably never had before. Perfect. Hopefully, we'll surprise you and delight yeah. you, as they say. Yes. I'm not even gonna look at the menu because I'm just gonna trust let you. Let me do, <laughs> do do my thing. You do your okay, thing. I'll do my thing. All right. Nice. So let's do. We'll get a uh, waffle iron lock key with the uh, applesauce and the, and the lox. And let's do an order, uh, two cups of matzo ball soup. All right, one latte all the way to two matzo ball soup. You got it. And so I've, I always like the approachability of a diner. Right, right. But I think now people have a more distinguished palate. They kind of want better food. So I wanted to kind of bring something in that was a diner. You kind of thought it was a kind of a cool diner. But as you can see, I wanted a full bar. Yes, that's a great I wanted, bar you got there. Right, yeah. a full bar. I wanted to do diner food, but one of my employees coined it a finer diner, which I thought was kind of a cute idea. Yeah. And so our kind of our tagline that we use here is thoughtful, not overthought. It's like chicken noodle soup with a matzo ball instead of the noodles, basically. Okay. Go for the soup while it's hot. Okay. Try the soup first. Okay. Some people love dense matzo, some people love floaters, <laughs> floaters we call them. Okay. So we like a floater. I mean, it should be cool. kind of light and airy on the inside, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, growing up, was this something that you, like you oh, said, yeah. all the time? All the time. All the time? Yeah, they call it Jewish penicillin. Penicillin. Oh. It's kind of like your curl kind <laughs> yeah. of a thing. So yeah, yeah. We, you, you eat at Passover, but you, all year long, people get and any. So I also based the restaurant on a diner, but I also wanted a heavy, old school, Jewish delicatessen right. vibe, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Your cats is, you know, yes. um, there's places on the East Coast and the West Coast yes. and New Jersey, and uh, there's right. good old school delis, but there aren't a lot of them left. Right. There's a handful of them left. Right. And this is the kind of stuff you classically would always find. So here, I'll let you. Oh, perfect. Let you, Thank let you. Let you try that. All right. It smells it's good. It's got, yeah, beet root powder on the side. It tastes really good. It also feels very healthy. It's healthy, right? You're, and you're, you're getting your juice, you're juicing, and you're getting your, your boozy oh. beverage all in one. Boozy beverage all in one, and it's really, really good. So that's called ancient peach. We've okay. got peach puree, vanilla, there's Greek yogurt in there. Oh, there's Greek yogurt. The yogurt. I've never so had it's a supposed to be kind of yogurt. refreshing. Yeah, you get a little, a little tartness from the yogurt. Oh, that's good too. All right, sweet. I feel not like too this sweet. is a little bit of like a, like an adult snow cone. Because yeah, of there the you ice go. Up top. Got the crushed yeah, ice on top. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Uh huh. So there's pastrami and then there's corned beef, right? Right. And so people sometimes confuse the two. Right. So they both are both nice. brined very some people have different recipes, but they're both brined the same way, right? With curing salt to make it pink, as you can see in the pastrami, right? It's got nice. that pink. In the interior. Cool. So let's let's break this. Let's go over down. the layers. Yeah. Right? I was like, there's a lot going on. Here. <laughs> okay. So you got our pastrami at the bottom, okay. right? Yes. Like six ounces of thick cut brisket, so a couple good. slices of Swiss cheese, okay. our homemade sauerkraut. Okay. And then mustard. And then we got our own. We make our own deli mustard. We soak mustard seeds with vinegar. We do our own mustard. Oh, and then you got rye bread. Rye bread, which is like a key staple. It's a key, right? and it's I've like done. A, I've yes. tried to look really hard to find a really good rye bread. And I think this, I think this is a we, winner. We found a really good one. So yeah, you you be the judge. You tell okay. me. Plan of attack right now. I'm I gonna know. go. Which this corner is? I know. Got a little bit of everything, right? Mmm. 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 Get the acid from the brine. It's so tender. All right. It's so good. The sauerkraut is funky, but it's not overpowering. Just add. You want the acid on. A little yeah. pop. Just a little, a little pop. pop. So. So there. This try, is try it. this. Try this stroganoff. Okay. This is what I've been. So I'm pretty excited to Yeah, taste. so get, there's, yeah, yeah, get, get some of that meat, get, get some, some of the mushroom. Mushrooms. Okay. I'm just gonna like just go, go for, for it. all of it. Yeah, yeah, just go for it. Let's see. I won't be shy, I'll go, I'll go in there with you. Oh, perfect. All right, oh, cheers. Okay. Cheers. cheers. Mm -hmm. My God, that barbacoa is so good. Just, it's right. just perfect. And you know what we haven't talked about that I love? is the entire atmosphere in here. 
I love the plants, I love the colors. Everything just works so well. It's that, I kind of want to have like a cool LA vibe. Yeah. You know, I didn't want it to be a, you know, a, a dark diner or kind of feel right. like it's a speakeasy. Or I want it to be light and bright. It's light, yeah, light and bright. Have a have a business meeting here. We're hopefully opening for breakfast every day soon. Yeah. It's your diner. Yeah. It's your all-purpose spot. So I want right. it to be. I put plugs at all the all the booths so you can come oh, and do nice. work. Um, I just like. I want it to be. You want like to be like a second home. Like a second home. That's yeah. exactly right. Second home exactly to everybody. Right. Here. Like your yeah. all-day cafe. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So I that's that's it. kind of the vibe, and I think it was kind of missing in San Antonio. Yeah. So I kind of want to bring something that I was looking for right. myself. I love with it. My kids and everything. You know, a place that's kind of family friendly, but really well done. Perfect. I love it. I'm all about this right now. So I'm gonna take it all home with me. <laughs> you got it. You'll you'll be eating well for a few days. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you.